Hey, what's up, guys? So, this is uh, this is something a lot of people overlook, and even those that are trying to find these resources usually have trouble finding it. And now I know I did for a very long time until recently, and that is getting good quality maps. Now, the website I use is National Geographic PDF Quad Maps. Um, you can print these off for free, which is the biggest thing. Um, you can go out and get topographical maps anywhere, but it can cost you a pretty penny, and I know that's not where I want to put over $300 of money into of paper maps if I could print these maps off for free or a dollar and a half at the library. Now this was just a random spot in the United States that I clicked on, and this was the first thing that I got. It's the first page of five pages that you'll get. Um, again, it shows you the first, second, third, and fourth quadrant of the map. It shows you a little bit of the surrounding area as well. On the bottom it gives you your declination as well as the surrounding maps. Looking at the first pa uh, first page, you can see it has the number 2 at the top, showing you that it's the second page, which would be the top left corner, and it even shows you at the top here that it is the top left. These maps I like a lot because of the detail that they give you um, and the clarity. So it's pretty self-explanatory of what you're going to want to do. Um, it doesn't really matter how you overlay the maps, as long as you um, overlay it to where the white isn't showing. So I'm taking the top right one, cutting off the left hand corner. I like cutting it a little bit to the left of the black line, so that way you can still kind of see the nubs. One thing that you gotta do when lining stuff up, is you can't just line it up to where the white overlays like that, because that's not right. You know, you can look at something like this road right here, where it bumps up and then over here it bumps up again. That's not at the road doing it twice. That's the map overlay. So what you gotta do is you gotta make sure you get those two features lined up. And I like using a lot of the, the topographical lines on the map too and lining that stuff up. So just be careful about that. So what I do now is just take a little snippet of tape, cut two of them. You can see that lines up pretty well. And all you're gonna do is do that again, but now for the uh, bottom two maps. So what I like to do now is also take the back map the overview and I usually like putting that on the back but yeah I'd usually cover this whole entire thing with this uh, packaging tape all the way around and that gives it a nice waterproof uh, waterproofing as well as you can use a dry erase marker on it to draw um, improvised lines to draw you know if you're working with people you could draw you know um, phase lines or you know where people where you want people to move and go to and uh, circle things stuff like that when it's uh, got that masking tape but besides that that's all there is to um, making these larger maps okay so now that you have your maps um, where exactly do you do with them well it's simple having maps greatly increases your chance of success and survival anything that you're planning on doing. Being able to know where you're going and um, where you're at is pertinent to doing almost about anything. So it's astonishing to see the amount of um, uh, boot LARPers, faggots that are on the internet that have all this nice Gucci shit. They got, you know, and they'll have stuff like radio setups, but they simply don't even have a program. If you're carrying land navigation equipment, but don't have maps, you ask yourself what the fuck are you doing? Where I keep the maps, it's quite simple. In the middle uh, admin pouch of my chest rig is where I keep all my land, land navigation equipment. You know, I have my uh, static compass that is um, leathered onto my kit. I have a, a Utrex 10 Garmin uh, GPS. I have a right in the rain. I have my uh, um, protractor for my map and. In this pouch, I will usually carry the map that I'm using wherever I'm at at that time. 
if I'm scouting out an area or if I'm planting caches in an area that is larger than one map holds, or if I'm in an area that's in between two maps constantly, I'll usually carry more than one map. And that second map, I'll usually hold in one of my shoulder pockets. Shoulder pockets are great for holding maps, very easy and quick to get to, and very hard to mismanage with other maps. So if you have a small little one cheater like this one, pretty simple, but you can still even carry more than one map. And here is a two by two map that I can carry within my shoulder pocket, along with notepad and other equipment inside my shoulder pocket. Lastly, for long term, storing all your maps can sometimes be um, a little challenging. I know this is something I've been thinking about a lot, but personally right now what I'm doing is I have a saw pouch on the side of my uh, rucksack and in it I carry all the maps that I need. I have multiple maps um, in here and any of the ones that I don't need on hand will either go in my binder or it'll go stashed away somewhere in the bottom of my ruck. Now I'm not going to get into land navigation in this video. That's something um, out of this video and there's thousands of videos on YouTube I'm not even going to cover. It. If you want to learn land nav, go somewhere else. I'm not going to teach it. Uh, but again, the ease at which you can get these maps off this website is uh, astounding. Highly recommend that you go out and get the maps that you need for your area and print them out. You don't even have to make them big like this. You can just keep them simply um, into the five sheets that they come in, put them in a binder, put them in um, clear plastic um, divider bags, put them in a binder and keep them all together. Having maps is highly important because in any type of situation you might find yourself in, you're not going to have the internet, you're not going to have a GPS, satellite, Google Earth to be looking at what you need. So while you still can, and for an extremely cheap price, go out and print off your own maps.